For the Pittsburgh Steelers, there has been a rare change at the top. Only the third head coach in the last 38 years. 35-year-old Mike Tomlin becomes the coach, taking the place of Bill Cowell. For Rich, as we have talked about all this week, he knows that the focus of his team will be on his quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. You're right, Kevin. It's so important for a quarterback to be confident and comfortable in the pocket and to be able to trust the protection. Winslow is spread as a receiver, and Hyde is a second tight end. Needing the 30, here's Fry, and down he goes. Schaefer got waylaid by Smith, who makes the sack. It's a loss of five, back to the 16, and the Browns have got a punt. Well, they're so conscientious about helping Joe Thomas to keep the back, to actually hide it in to help out with him. And actually, the problem comes on the right side with Schaefer. So he doesn't get any help. He gets bull rushed. First and 10 from the 22. And blocked by Smith, the tackle. That's caught by Santonio Holmes working on the rookie right. Out of bounds at the 7, 15-yard pickup and first and goal. Good take him. The block by Davenport and caught by Ward and was he in? Touchdown! The Steelers cash in on the penalty wooden punt by the Cleveland Browns beginning at the 22, hitting Ward on third and goal at the 5. And Kevin, this is just great confidence from Ben Roethlisberger. Watch how early he throws this. Heinz Ward's not even into his route yet. And he throws that ball in the back corner of the end zone where it needs to be. Again. Blocked by Fraley, and that is intercepted by Deshae Townsend. Here come the boos, and there goes Townsend. Chased by Edwards, and down inside the 17-yard line. A 21-yard return to Shea Townsend with his 17th career interception. And look where the second possession for Pittsburgh will be at the Cleveland 17. What they've worked on all week in practice. 27-yard line, first and 10. Hiding the lead blocker here for Jamal Lewis. He's brought down by Harrison after a one-yard gain. 12, Smith is the fifth defensive back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Palomalu falls back in coverage. And Fourier has got Fry with a sack back at the 49. The second sack by the Pittsburgh defense today. They only had 39 all last season. They've already got him right there with a loss of eight to the 49. And Cleveland has got a punt. Kevin, we talk about down and distance. Third and long, you know pressure is coming. He saw all the defenders up the line. Missed 18 practices, missed 11 days. Here's a second down and six, just shy of the 35. Lewis again oh. fumbled the ball. And it's recovered by McFadden of the Pittsburgh Steelers at the 40-yard line. And Cleveland has just committed their second turnover today. Pretty sure handed, taking care of the football. He's got two hands on it right there. But again, you see Ferrier come in there and just strip it. It's usually the one that gets you from behind, the one you're not expecting, the one you don't anticipate. Oh, you could. Good block by Fanica. Oh, Roethlisberger oh, oh. going deep, and he's got Holmes in the end zone for a Pittsburgh touchdown. A 40-yard strike. He just split the secondary. He's going to watch. He's going to watch Heinz Ward run the in route, and then Santonio Holmes goes through the post, and he splits both the secondary defenders. Rodney Poole and Sean Jones. For the first play of the second quarter, third down, long two. Right. Oh, down he goes. Sacked on the play by Clark Higgins. That is the third sack recorded by the Pittsburgh Steelers, forcing another Cleveland punt in this game. See the corner blitz, it comes up top. And when you see the corner blitz, you know you can't hold the ball. Just into the second quarter. Here comes the reverse. Take the Parker, here comes Holmes. Lead blockers, Heath Miller. And then oh, and it's a fumble on the play, and it's loose and out of bounds. But was his knee down? That will be the Steelers and the rookie Sepulveda, who replaces Chris Gardaki. We'll try to knuckleball this with Cribs back in waiting. And they're going to save it. Looked like Washington got it. And then falling on it was Heath Miller. But it was the reserve wide receiver, Nate Washington, who got the ball, kept it in. So now for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they have not gone to five defensive backs. Fry, incomplete, and back at Jerry Vicious. 
And the coverage on the play by Higgins. And more booze now for young Charlie Fry, who has struggled throwing today. Pressure off the edge. Grimbley was down in the three-point stand. There goes Parker. Look at him play in the secondary. Look at the back by Washington. He's down inside the 25. That is a 25-yard sprint up the middle by one of the fastest running backs in the NFL and brought down on the play by Wright. We talk about having the right play called at the right time. They bring the slot, the stinger, the pressure right off the edge, and Willie Parker busts one right up inside off tackle. Willie senses the pressure off the edge, cuts it back up inside. The Browns have not been able to accomplish that. Polk has replaced Hampton on the line. Second down and 10. Good block by Thomas. Pocket crumbles, and down he goes. Another sack. James Harrison gets him here. Four sacks by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Harrison, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, taking the place of Joey Porter. Loss of five. Back to the 21. Kevin, we talked about guys like Charlie Fry. They have so much confidence in their athletic abilities. And they just can't give up on play sometimes. He's got a guy at his legs. Just throw it away. Throw it away. The offensive coordinator will love you for it. Will love you for it. Because now he's sitting up in the booth. He's looking down at his play sheet. He doesn't have a play on there for third and 15. I got a play for third and 10. But don't give me one for third and 15. That's an impossible pass. McFadden has come in for Deshae Townsend. Third and 15. They need the 36. Oh, here comes the blitz. And down he goes, Mike Taylor with the blitz. Mike Taylor with the sack. And a loss of 10 as Taylor gets his first sack in his NFL career. He's played five years, sack number one in his career. Cleveland has got a punt. Pretty good arm. Two tight ends, Hope taking the place of Hampton at the nose. First and 10 for Anderson. Great time. Incomplete as Paul Amalu was guarding Winslow. No yellow on the field. Incomplete. Second down and 10. Defensive secondary Here for comes. the Pittsburgh Steelers. Third and seven. Oh, look at the play by Clark, who came racing off the wing. It could be a turnover. The Pittsburgh Steelers think they've got the fumble. We just talked about it. You know the pressure's coming. Change the protection. Get rid of the ball. You have to have an awareness about you. Derek Anderson never feels Ryan Clark sneaking down on the line of scrimmage. There's a reason why he's lined up on the end of the line of scrimmage. He's blitzing. Two tight ends remain. First and ten. Parker. Fanica wow. with the lead block, and what a beauty it was. A block by Holmes downfield, upended by Lee Bodden after a gain on the play of 23 yards. Backfield, first and ten. Opening drive of the second half, Parker. Blocked by Spaeth. Tackle made by DeQuell Jackson to the 11 on a gain of seven. Two tight ends remain for Roethlisberger. Good looking drive to open up the third quarter. The block by Simmons as a touchdown reception made by the rookie, Spaeth. This Spaeth getting one-on-one -on -one with a defender and just a good throw by Ben Roethlisberger. Spaeth uses his big body and Ben puts it in a position where Bradley Poole really can't make it. Fake to Parker. Oh, here comes Peek. And there's Hines Ward, who is held by Wright, and brought down near the 42-yard line, a 22-yard pickup. Bottom of your screen. Parker. Good block by Washington. And brought down by Leon Williams. Roethlisberger studies a nickel secondary, third down and five. Davenport at his side. Here comes the rush. He dumps it off to Najee Davenport. And look at him. Corks through his way. They can't pin him down. As Biden finally reels him in at about the seven-yard line, breaking one tackle after another. A catch and run of 17 yards on third and eight. And first and goal for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Well, it all starts with Ben Rott. Look at his mobility. And then they get the ball out in space to Najee Dadboard. Look at all the receivers blocking downfield. And then just keep an eye on the screen. Watch Heinz Ward come in right there at the end. I mean, Kevin, they're all contributing. They're all flying around making plays. They're all having fun. Davis and Parker in the backfield. Parker with the block on peak. Wide open is Heath Miller. Another touchdown. Number four for Roethlisberger today at 22-yard strength. Keith Miller just going to run a little corner route. And he just gets in up and behind the linebackers. The safeties aren't able to come up in there. Third down and six. He's got Davenport at his side. A contingent of four receivers. The draw play to Najee. The ex-packer tackled by Jones. 
Washington. Third down and two. Davenport had a big jump last time, brought down by Williams and Wright, but another first down, continuing to grind it out. Gain of seven and second down, 10, 27 yard line for Anderson. That is caught by Braylon Edwards. He is whacked on the play by Anthony Smith. It's a fumble and recovered by the rookie William Gay out of Louisville. Four Cleveland turnovers today. He hasn't played a lot, and he's got he has to work on that. Quiet feet will help you with your accuracy. Second and ten, and this is caught by the Steelers. Intercepted on the play by Ike Taylor. Flag is thrown. Taylor with the pick. He already has a sack, his first career sack earlier in the game, and this might be his fifth interception of his career. As we wind this down, the Steelers finished the game with 18 consecutive rushing plays. They forced five Cleveland turnovers, three fumbles, and two interceptions. They had their quarterback throw for four touchdowns with a brand-new offensive coordinator to boot, and the defense notched six sacks all in the first half to really strangle this game and strangle the Browns offense. That's it. The Cleveland Browns have lost at home on opening day 34-7 to for Rich Cannon and Kevin Harlan saying so long. Coming up next, U.S. Open men's tennis final. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Back to JB after this break.